Y'all, I can't believe it's already about to be 2021. Like, we for real just spent this whole year inside the house. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes. Don't let it fall on me. Say you a good guy. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl C. Millie. If you're new here, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are an oldie, which is probably about 20 of y'all, but I appreciate y'all. Make sure that you hit the like button, drop me a comment, say, hey, how y'all doing? Or, hey, how are you doing? Um, I am going to show y'all how I am going to try out my first charcuterie board. Now, I've never made one before. It's more than just a cheese and crackers tray, no matter what people like to think. Um, I got two charcuterie boards for Christmas. Um, and one of the charcuterie boards that I got also came with some knives and stuff um, as a gift. So, um, today I went and picked up some stuff for it. So, we're going to see how it goes. Um, I'm currently at Home Goods. I just walked out of Home Goods. That's probably what y'all saw at the beginning of this vlog. Um, I try to find some um, like little bowls to put like the sauce and preserves and all of that stuff in. So I was successful. So I'll show y'all a little mini haul when I start getting it together. It is 1.13. I need to go drop off some stuff to my sister-in-law. I need to go check on my baby. I might leave my dog at my brother's for a little bit so I can go home and clean up like I want to. And then tonight, I'm supposed to, one, go look at lights with my brother and his family. And then I'm also going to be going over to Ashley's at 9 to bring in the actual new year. So, all right, y'all. I'll see y'all when I get to the house. Okay, y'all, so I am about to show you guys everything that I have for my charcuterie board. It is just for me, so I am not going to be making a big spread, and I will not be using my big one, but I will show y'all what it looks like. So I am going to start with my crackers and things first, and then move on to everything else. So I have this brioche toast that I got from Trader Joe's. I have these butter waffle cookies. Don't mind the fact that it's open. Okay, I had to try one of the concoctions that I saw. But these are the butter waffle cookies. These are cracker assortments from Trader Joe's. And then I got these Tuscan Crisp, which is olive oil and sea salt from Whole Foods. Moving on to the actual cheeses that I have. I got this cheese party tray from Trader Joe's as well. And this just has Colby Jack Swiss mild cheddar pepper jack cheese then i picked up this mozzarella cheese log um also from trader joe's i got this mascarpone cheese and i got this from whole foods this is a creamier cheese i've never had goat cheese y'all but everybody was talking about it when i was looking up charcuterie boards so we're gonna try it out but this is goat cheese with uh, fine herbs then I picked up a gouda cheese from Trader Joe's and a brie treat a brie, a brie, a brie cheese from Trader Joe's as well moving on to my fillers I got some fresh strawberries I got some olives these also came from Whole Foods these are I think a black green and this is a spicy antipasto pesto spread. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but... And I got a feeling that these ain't pitted. Mm, I hate not pitted olives. Whatever. And then I just got some red grapes. These came from Trader Joe's. For my meats, I have prosciutto. Prosci prosciutto. Prosciutto. That's how you say it. Prosciutto. 
And I got some pepperoni. For my spread slash sauces, I got some fig butter. I got this from Whole, excuse me, Trader Joe's. I got this caramel drizzle. Once again, I'm gonna show y'all what this is for. Y'all, I paid, no, I got this from Whole Good, Whole Foods. Did I say that? I think so. I paid $10.99 for this doggone bottle of caramel. It's bomb though. Don't get me wrong, this is bomb. But you know when you like are fed up with going to the store and you're like, I'm not going nowhere else to get it. That's how it was. I forgot all about it when I was at Whole Foods. This was literally the only caramel that they had. And then I got this garlic spread dip as well from Trader Joe's. Um, at Whole Foods, I picked up this cheese knife because I didn't have one and I wanted to feel fancy. And then I picked up these mini bowls to put like the sauces and some of the um, softer cheeses in. Now, moving on to my actual charcuterie boards, I got this as a gift. This is a cheese knife, a cheese knife set um, of three. So it has like a spatula, a knife, or two knives. I guess they're all knives, but one of them looks like a spatula to me. And then with this set, this is the charcuterie board that I got for Christmas from one of my honorary aunties. So y'all see how big it is it looks like i'm not gonna say a surfboard but it's long and it has this beautiful design and it is bamboo it's really pretty and it's great for larger parties but because it's just me i won't be using it today and then this is the, the charcuterie board that i am going to use today i got this from one of my pageant sisters and this is also um bamboo as well my only concern is these slots right here which i guess i could use to my advantage to put some of the fillers on but i just i'm thinking about like the bowls and all that other stuff so i will show y'all maybe really quick how i put it all together and then the final product
final product of the charcuterie board. Um, I think for my first time, I did a dang good job. Based on my current angle, I'll probably try to see if I can get close up so I can remind y'all of what all is on here. So hold on. Okay, y'all. So really quick, um, right here is the um, garlic spread, the brioche toast, and then that is the goat cheese log. Then you, of course, you see grapes and strawberries as my fillers. But then there is the prosciutto. Prosciutto? <laughs> prosciutto? I think that's how you say it. I keep forgetting. There's the mozzarella. Um, there is the salami right there. There's some pepper jack and Kobe jack and the cheddar mixed up in there. That is some of the fig butter. There is the gouda. And I put some salami pieces inside of the gouda. This ring light really didn't help nothing. Is that better? No, not really. Um, there is the... Um, olives the green and black all mashed up which looks disgusting but i mean it tastes like regular olives so whatever there are the regular like traditional crackers there's some more of the cheese there is the y'all it's butter waffle cookies not butter wafer cookies don't know what i was talking about this is the mascarpone cheese and the caramel drizzle i stuck the butter wafer cookies in there even though it's just me eating this um as a little insider tip, <laughs> um, if you are looking for something sweet to go with your board, get some of the mascarpone cheese, spread it over the cookie, and drizzle some of the caramel on there, and baby, perfect. Um, the only things that I did not add from my collection of what I already purchased was the brie and the Tuscan crisp. Um, I just ran out of room, and I just put my favorites on there that I can enjoy now, so... I'm about to call it a night. I got some good wine and I'm going to call it good. So there is my first charcuterie board. I don't think I did too bad. So toodles.